Hey Brian, it's Will. I want to present to you this gift piece of music I call a musical portrait. And, and you're going to hear the voices of your friends. I wrote this piece of music while visiting Santa Fe or, um, during July. And I wanted to give you something that you can listen to so you can feel the love in the community for you. I've always enjoyed our connection uh, at dance and through the, the friends that we share over the years. Loved your hugs, loved your you know, calm presence and smile. And, and I just wanna thank you for that. And I hope you enjoyed this music. I'll be explaining in a little bit here exactly how I wove into the fabric of the music the numbers of your birthday. And uh, these have been really fun. I've been doing these pieces, these musical portraits over the last nine months and I really enjoy doing them, so I hope you enjoy it. And I wanted to let you know that there's two ways you can experience this piece. I've made a video, but what I recommend is you listen to it with headphones on, with your eyes closed or in a dark room first to really hear the music and the voices. And then, after you've done that a couple times, at least one time, then then look at the video and the images because you're going to have two different experiences that way. So I spent a lot of time sort of tuning in what I wanted to write. And over the last two or three months, um, I've been meditating to Ravi Shankar's Chants of India. So I highly recommend uh, checking that out. That, that piece very much influenced the writing of this piece not that piece, but that, that, that album. And also Aaron Copeland's Appalachian Spring was a very influential piece. And Dvorak's, Dvorak's New World Symphony second movement. The second movement of Dvorak's symphony is a very simple melody, um, but the way that he sets the melody, sort of the context of the melody, makes it just gorgeous and so beautiful. But the melody itself can be extracted and sung and, and it can be meaningful. Um, Mary said that you used to go with her to hear the uh, University Symphony, the University of Texas Symphony Orchestra. So um, I thought writing this piece with some strings, some string orchestral textures would be meaningful to you. And again, one of these musical por portraits, I'd really try to find out a lot about the person, feel into the person. A lot of people wrote to me about their experiences with you, so I could really get into the mood of, of tailoring this piece to you and who you are as a person. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you check out some more of those musical influences. Um, I put them in the description below with links to check out. And if you have any questions about it and want to talk to me about this, uh, I'd love to talk to you. I hope you enjoy it. Here's your piece. But first, I'm going to show you on the piano how I took your birth date numbers and made a little bit of music out of it, which you'll hear in this piece. Um, all right, enjoy this music. Love you very much and have fun with the music. All right, I just wanted to give you a, a quick demonstration of how I incorporated Brian's birth date into the musical DNA or the musical building blocks of the song. So at the very beginning of the piece, Brian, you'll hear this. So we'll play it up higher so you can hear it. This. So the very top note of those chords in each of those chords corresponds to the numbers of your birth date. So for instance, if we're in, this is the home key, this note right here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and on, so on, and so on. So, so at the very beginning, those, those that melody is your birth date. And then later on in the piece, toward the end of it, uh, when people are um, leaving their messages for you, you'll hear in the background there are some chords and 
it's not as noticeable, but the chords are based on the numbers from your birth date. So for instance, this is the one chord, and this is the six chord. So like, you know, 67, so 67 would be six, there's seven, and there's six, and here's one. So I've taken those numbers and created sort of some DNA or musical building blocks within the piece. So that's how I personalized it to make it just about your birthday. So I hope you enjoyed that.